All right, there we go. There's just a, uh, you know, got to say, good morning, good morning, good morning. Jeremiah's J. Mamonero. Welcome to another great episode of Ask the Experts, Anything Meaningful, also known as A-Team Friday. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about virtual networking and your UVP. You're down with UVP? Yeah, you know me. That's your unique value proposition, folks. Uh, I'm going to help you to develop yours uh, right after we get into one of the most important things I think we can talk about in the virtual world in which we live in this day and age, which is virtual networking. I'm noticing as I am a part of so many different Zooms every single day, I mean every single day, uh, that agents could use some help with how to network better, right? We're so used to decades or years of, hi, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Here's my card. Where are you from? What do you do? So let me help you. First things first, you want to get yourself something called a link tree. Okay, you've heard me mention it again and again and again and again and again. I'm going to give you two options, a link tree or a solo.to, which is a link tree competitor. I'm going to show you both. They're both, ready? Free! That's right. They're free, folks. That's all you got to do is pay nothing. Just get it done. And then I'm going to take it one step further. I'm going to show you how to create a QR code uh, so that you can put that on your background. You could put that on your business card. You could put that anywhere else you want to digitally. Uh, and then the third thing I'll do is show you how to do that in Canva so that you can create your virtual background so you can put it behind you. So people can just go, hey, what's your contact info? And you can go like this. It's right there. It's right there. Hold on. I'll do it for you right now. Oh, you can ask me. J-Man, what's your contact info? Oh, 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 you see it? It's right right over there. Oh, oh, let me move that over for you. Sorry. Here it goes. You scan that right there. Okay. I don't have to say anything else. Just point to it. Pow, pow. Right there. Pull out your smartphone. Scan that. If you don't have a QR code scanner on your smartphone, we don't. We won't be friends because you have a phone from the 1980s and that's that's not to our satisfaction or anybody's for that matter. Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen. Here we go, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna go, uh, the website you wanna go to is Linktree and they call it Linktree but it's linktr.ee is the actual website. Um, they just raised 45 million US dollars. Oh my gosh, good for you guys. Um, who cares? If they're giving it away, that'd be something different. All right, so getting started for free. All you have to do is it's linked, and I don't know. Um, I guess let me just try to zoom out so you can actually see the website a little bit. Yeah, I guess it doesn't make a difference. But it's link. I'll, I'll put it, I'm gonna put the actual website in the comments so you have it. So the first things first, you're gonna go here. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna copy it for you. Paste it there, pacal, there you go. All right, getting started for free. I'm gonna click that button. Create an account for free. Oh, free forever, no payment needed. Oh, that's excellent. I'm gonna use uh, a spam account. J-Man sells at hotmail.com, baby. Username is J-Man Z. J-Man Z. Oh, hold up. No, calm down, Siri. I don't need anything from you. J-Man Z. Okay. And then the password I'm going to create, it's going to be top secret. It's going to be password. Make sure I got that right. Okay, I got it right. I got it right. They'll be copying my password, man. Okay. So that's all you got to do. Uh, sign up with the email by creating an account. You agree. I'm going to check here. And then I'm going to. Oh, okay. 24-7. Here you go. You happy now? You happy? Thank you freaking annoying okay tell us your your name yep what do i do i do music and comedy i'm not a robot continue boom 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 all right so this is what you get w with the free free is good enough for now folks you don't need i know some of you are like no extra extra money is always better 
I don't know if that's the case for uh, for the link tree situation. So just try it for free at first, and then I'm not going to go through this just to save time. Okay. So I'm going to sign up for free. Continue to my link tree. Boom, 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 boom. So how we going to do? Add new link. All right. It's going to be website. And we put jmanseminars.com. I can add a thumbnail or an icon to that as well. All right, and then you just go through. You do. You would do your Facebook, you do your Instagram, you do your Twitter. Um, if you don't have a good presence on that platform, I wouldn't put it down, right? It wouldn't make sense. So if you, you have a decent Facebook, def decent Instagram, you're trying to grow your YouTube presence, put that on there, plus your, your real estate website or your company website, whatever that is. And then uh, the one more thing that I would add is a virtual card. Um, and I did this because I was at an event. Well, then I realized I'm not in the circle the way I want to be. There we go. I was at a virtual event. And somebody goes, you don't have a virtual card. I go, I just sent you my link tree. Yeah, but there's no virtual card for me to save here. And I'm like, OMG, okay. So I, I did the virtual card. Um, you see here at the top, you want to be sure that you go to your email and verify it before, because then your link tree won't be published. Your link tree link is going to be whatever you create. You know, it's linktree slash. After a while, if you share it a lot on your on your computer, it'll be cookied in. You can just copy and paste it. But I would create like a digital note. You know, if it's Evernote or Google Keep or or uh, Apple Notes or whatever you guys are using, keep your link tree there or save it in your contact card on your phone. Copy and paste it there. Okay. Once it's done. Here's what mine looks like. I got this cool icon. That's my Bitmoji going, oh, shoot, pound. We got you, bro. We're friends. The virtual card download. I go here. Pacal. Look at that. Oh, shoot. Let me scan it. Let me see it. Let me save it. You got all the things you need about me with the virtual card. Now, I also have in here, let's say you create a uh, first time home buyer seminar you know, four steps to buying a first, your first home, a video series. Um, this one here is get over yourself video course. It's four parts, four separate videos. So all I did was I, I created a playlist on, on the YouTube. I then, uh, your playlist will have a link and I put the link to that, uh, into my link tree here. See if I click that takes me to the YouTube baby. Oh shoot. Go ahead. Go get it. Let's go. All right, and then you come over here. We got my messenger bot. If you don't know what a messenger bot, you better holler at your boy. Uh, J Man Speaks on Instagram, J Man Speaks on Facebook, J Man Speaks on the YouTube, LinkedIn, and J Man on Twitter. Okay, now some of you who are watching may be speakers, instructors, um, Dr. Jeffrey Stanton. I see you. Um, so, what I did here because I wanted to have a separate tree of links, right? Why isn't this working? There we go. I wanted to have a separate tree of links. And so I created a second because there's no, there's no limit. It's just, it's connected to an email account. So it depends on how many emails you, you already have. So if I come in here and I go my J man seminars, uh, link tree, this was, I would send out every week, uh, via email and text. Here's the stuff I have going on this week. And each one would go to a different registration link, uh, for the event that I was doing, right? So for this example, you click that, that goes to a, a, a social media ethics class I was doing. That goes another three hours of CE. That goes to video boot camp. This goes to, um, this is always there because it's a three hour CE class that I offer through McKissick. It's pre recorded. You can take it anywhere in the United States, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So that's always there. Um, I have online CE for the entire United States. Again, that's a partnership through Calibri. Uh, same thing for pre-licensing. That's a partnership I have through Real Estate Express. And then I have a link back to my other link tree. I know. I know. Hold up. Let me see what I'm going to do here. You won! Yeah, you did win by hearing that information, folks. Okay. So let me just, I want to maybe zoom this a little so you can probably see it a little bit better. 
do, 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 do. All right, next, I'll show you solo.to. This was just something, again, I'm targeted with tech-related stuff on the social media. So this came up on my Instagram feed, and I'm like, did you say something new? Oh, technology? Oh, okay, you got my attention. And so uh, I signed up for it. It's solo.to. You're going to go in, you're going to go to how it works, and then you're going to create an account. Uh, it's going to be similar setup. Okay, this is my page. I don't want to go through the whole thing. It'll be dupl duplicative, but you can see it's a little bit different. They, they allow you to have, um, I think I'm paying $12 a year for this one. I felt like this one was worth it, and I'll show you why. Um, you know, it has this. The bio is similar to like Instagram, right? Your Instagram bio and that dark mode, you choose what you want. Background image, which I think is is this. Then you have different links and embed codes that you can put in here, which is totally sweet. Uh, if you have an event, you can put when the event expires or a promo video to that event or an open house or whatever it is, you put that in there and then you say, okay, this is going to, I want you to archive it after 12, 30, 20 at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Done. Okay. There's a, a video that you can embed. You can, you, you just copy the embed code from YouTube. Um, and then any other links that you have in here, my personal messenger, my speaker messenger bot, and also my virtual contact card. Okay, contact buttons. You have my email. They can call me, and then the social buttons are all here. Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, uh, all there. Oh, shoot. I should put my Facebook pixel. I think that's an upgrade. Oh, shoot. Okay. Man, maybe that'll be worth it. We'll see. Um, depends on the traffic that you get. Now, the final product for that looks like this. Pacal. You see how, like, yo, that's a little bit squeezy, right? I got it all here. That looks, you know, similar to the IG. And then you got email, then you got text, and then you get all of your social media icons there. Kind of like a little bit better than any other links here. My virtual card, the bots that I have, 10% discount. Hey, if you go to solo.to slash jmanspeaks, I'll put this in the comments. Uh, if you get it, uh, I think you get 10%, a 10% discount, and then I get 10% if you sign up for anything uh, extra. So the both of us could probably go to the dollar menu uh, and get something really nice. Here you go. Put that in there. So you can kind of compare the two. It's in the comments. Uh, but this video embedded is like My goal is the cat's product. meow, that baby. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to play the whole thing. But that's embedded right right into that, that account. Okay? Now, earlier, do you remember when I did the QR code, right? Let me bring that back up right here, the Linktree QR code. A QR code is nothing more than something that forwards to a URL. That's it. That's it. So it's visual, right? So somebody can scan it. They don't have to type it. They don't have to click it. Because depending on where you are in the virtual world, uh, some of those links won't be active in the chat. Zoom's pretty good. You have to make sure that you do the whole, you can't just go uh, linktree slash jman speaks. It has to be the HTTP, you know, slash slash linktree dot, you know, link dot slash jman speaks. Okay. So I went to QR code monkey. You see this here uh, with your link. So let's pretend again, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to go, my URL is solo.to slash jman speaks. I set the colors. Maybe you have a certain color scheme that you like that's in line with your brand. I'm going to go say green. That's my mama's. This is my mom's favorite color, actually. She <laughs> she painted her kitchen this one time, which would be perfect if I had to broadcast from her kitchen. We recommend to make the color darker. Okay, I'll do poopy green. That's ugly as but whatever, it's just for demonstration purposes. All right, add a logo or image. I'm going to upload an image. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, I have a nice luxury home. We're going to take that, put that in there. And then we're going to create the QR code. Boom, ugly green with a nice uh, logo in the middle. So what I do, as you create more QR codes, I put the logo in the middle to correspond with what the QR code, so you don't have to scan it to know what it is. You could be like, here's my link tree. Well, I do this a lot with the messenger bots because we have flows. Uh, each flow in our messenger bot goes someplace different. 
Oh, we got Billy in the house from Billing. Billy from Billings. I like that. That's got some alliteration to it. Billy from Billings is with us today, folks. So that's all you do to create the QR code. Now you're saying, but but Jay, man, how can I get that into the into the Zoom? I don't have all the fancy programs and stuff that you do. I'm with you. I got you. I got you. I got your back. I got your back. Hold on. I want to do some drums. Let's see. I like this one. Uh, but first, let me get you the virtual card, and then we're going to get to the to the background and how to get the QR code. You guys are good with that. You can, you know, your last step there is to download the PNG. If you need me to show you that, uh, we can't be friends. All right. Uh, two different ways to get virtual cards. First one is hi, hello. Uh, this is popular. They'll create a QR code here as well. Uh, but you do get the the URL that you can use in your link tree, um, or just Google free V card. Um, and you should find it free V card with link. That's all you need. Um, I, if it creates the U R or if it creates the QR code for you, be careful because some of them will, will create the QR code and then it's free for a certain amount of time. And then that QR code expires. So I, it happened to me, I use it in a video, which then I sent someplace and then they upload it to their YouTube. And now the freaking thing is dead because that QR code, uh, expired. So don't let this happen to you folks. All right, now I'm come over here to Canva. Woo, look at that. Canva count is crazy, son. That's right. Uh, but what you're gonna do when you come in here, you're gonna create, if I go like this, create Zoom virtual background. Um, might, you might not be, let me just, I'm gonna zoom it back out for you a little bit. Okay, so what I did a search for was Zoom background. One of the options is Zoom virtual background. You hit that. It's going to give you the dimensions already 1280 by 720. Now Canva is free. Uh, my account that you're looking at is, is a paid account. It's well worth the upgrade. Uh, but let's say I'm just going to do this quickly. Zoom virtual background. Pacow. I choose that. Oh, isn't that nice? Just lovely. Okay. Then I'm going to upload my QR code. Did I have it uploaded? Oh yeah, I got one anyways to show you. Here's a QR code. Okay, so I, I wouldn't necessarily put it in the middle because remember this is gonna be your background. So I might, I might take it, bring it over here, block this a little bit. You want it to be big enough for people to scan so you can move out of the way if you're just using it as a background, right? So if I put myself in the middle, if this really was a zoom, you put it here. Hey everybody, welcome to my Zoom. La 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 la. And then you go, oh, you want to connect? Just scan that right there. Yeah. Uh huh. Big pimping. Spending G's. Here we go. Come back over here. That's it. That's all you got to do. You download that. Again, that's your virtual background. You're going to go into the virtual background section in into the Zoom. That's a separate tutorial. You should be able to do that no problem, though. Um, that can also be a video background, just so you know. Uh, you could see there are video options in here if I went back over to what I um, what I could upload for the Zoom vir virtual backgrounds. They have videos. So you could go over my, my last tip, I guess, the video blocks that I, I've shown you in the past. Uh, video blocks, you can take those videos because they're short, they're like 15 seconds, and then you can use those as virtual backgrounds. That's what I do all the time, and that's why my backgrounds are fire because nobody else has them because they're stock video uh, that I pay for. All right. So let's come back over here. Let's come back over here, folks. Boom. There we go. We're done with that section. You guys good. What, 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 what questions, what questions might we, what questions might we web about that folks? Let me make sure I got the comments window. Where'd that go? Comments and reactions. There we go. Oh, we got Lauren Lollies in the building from Long Island. What's up, Lauren? We got Michael Hukalak in Orlando, Florida. We love it. We love it in Orlando, my friend. And, of course, we got Billy from Billings. We gave her a shout-out. All right. Last thing I want to talk about here is the three E's for your virtual. I'm sorry. What time is it? 929. Uh, three E's. 
to set your part set you apart from the competition. If you've been in any of my GRI classes, the longer ones, the GRI business that we we talk about this a lot, but uh, some of you still haven't applied it, so I guess we have to review it. Okay, so let me go back to sharing this. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Oh, that's what I did over there? Okay, I see what I did. I wanna come over here, because that's got my overlay. There's a video on my YouTube page on how to do this overlay that you see here. It's just an image where you cut out the square for the video, okay? So go to my YouTube channel, it's youtube.com slash jmatspeaks. Um, but let's come back over here to the shared screen. Okay, I just have a Microsoft Word open because I don't feel like walking over to the to the whiteboard. First thing, first E that we're going to talk about is education. Okay, and I'm talking about real estate education. I'm talking about whatever you went to school for. I'm going to make this even bigger. Let's say uh, I was coaching an agent and she's like, well, you know, I went to school for accounting. I'm actually a CPA. I don't see how that can help me sell a house. And I was like, what? Hold up. Wait a minute. Don't go there because I ain't with it. Uh, <laughs> you have to, you know, what did you go to school for? Did you go to school for? Okay. And then you tie that that right in. I went to school for business administration. Okay. I went to, I was supposed to go to four years, but after two years, I got a job making six figures and I was like, peace. I didn't like school anyways, but I went to school for business administration. And so I, I, that's part of my resume that I talk about when I'm talking with my clients I say, you know, I do have a business background, you know, and, and real estate is a business and managing a transaction has to be handled as such. There's so many important moving parts. It takes a CEO mindset to be able to navigate the challenging waters of real estate, especially if you're working with sellers or buyers or whatever the case may be. Right. So whatever your education is, you take that, you spin it and how it makes a difference for, uh, for the seller, right? It doesn't, anything you did, any education that you did ties right back in, right? Um, I'm looking at, Lolly has a, a, an edu, a psychology background, right? <laughs> like, you know, if we're not psychologists, I don't know who are, you know, as, as far as realtors are, you know, but having a psychology background helps me to be able to negotiate peacefully in a transaction with agents that sometimes may not be that stable, but also to help you stay calm and, and relieve the stress that can be related to this real estate transaction. See where I'm going? So whatever it is, I'm going to tie it back into like, what does it mean to you, Mr. and Mr. Mrs. Seller? Not like, why does it make me better? What does it mean to you and how does it provide better service? That is what you have to do each and every time, okay? Now, the second is experience. Experience. This is life experience, okay? Life experience. So I'm going to give you an example again. Uh, before I was in real estate, uh, I was a regional manager for a, an ADT security company. Okay. Uh, I was in charge of 60 plus salespeople and a bunch of installers. And I ran an outside sales team. What does that mean? Door knockers. I was in charge of 60 door knockers. We had 12 passenger vans. We used to go into neighborhoods like killer bees, like, like a swarm and we would sell these free alarm systems. So when it comes to prospecting and, you know, going above and beyond, there's nobody and we're in a state emergency in New York. We can't door knock anymore, but there is literally nobody who has knocked more doors in real estate. I feel like than myself, cause I've, I've knocked on tens of thousands of doors all throughout New York state, all throughout five boroughs in New York city. So I can tell you like bringing that experience into a transaction means I, there will be no stone unturned, right? In a market where there isn't a lot of homes to sell, I can tell you, I am not afraid to knock on a door of somebody who expired five years ago. Okay. And that's part of the, the value and, and, and what I provide to my clients and the, the buyers that I work with. Okay. So whatever that life experience is, um, I was speaking with, again, an, uh, a coaching client the other day and she says, well, you know, I was stay at home mom for 20 years. There is so much life experience there. You can manage hectic schedules. You're, you work more than anybody on the planet, right? You're able to multitask. You're able to get things done. You can handle 
uh, multiple things going on. The logistics and transportation quite literally is what, what you do every single day with your eyes closed. Okay, so managing, uh, navigating the waters of a, a real estate transaction is a piece of cake. I can tell you, I, I negotiate more with my two kids, five and 10 every day than I do in any real estate transaction. Okay, that is the best practice I could possibly do. And I, once you ex, you know, you're an expert at that, you bring that into real estate. It's cake, baby. It's cake. All right. And then the last one is expertise. Expertise. So if I were you, like, what I would quite literally do is pull out a piece of paper, and then um, write these three E's down, and then fill in your blanks, and then try to tie it back to what it means to the to the potential client. So expertise, I am fluid in Spanish. Okay, fluid. <laughs> I'm fluid in Spanish. I don't even know what that means. I'm fluent, fluent in Spanish. Oh, I'm clicking the, the wrong screen over here. Fluent in Spanish. Uh, flirt. I flirn. <laughs> what the F? Okay, here we go. Fluent in Spanish. Um, grew up in one area my whole life. Yeah, I, I know how to spell it. Lolly, thank you very much. Uh, grew up in Greece, New York. Um, so this is, it's a town in, in the city of Rochester where I live. Roughly 100,000 people. Part of the expertise is that I grew up here, right, uh, from the age of eight until my current age of nine, let's say. <laughs> uh, I grew up in this area, so I know it better than anybody else. I know, I know why, uh, where places, why things are better because of the location. I know points of interest. I know, you know areas near the water that are more prone to flooding because, again, I have lived here my whole life. Those are things that when you look at big companies and you go, oh, this big broker, this big tech company is coming into my area. I don't care okay because nobody knows more about greece new york than i do and that's where 80 percent of my business comes from and that's the way you have to think of it right i go into a listing appointment and they go well you know we interviewed that heavy hitter so what you want somebody who's an expert in the market somebody who's going to exceed your expectations somebody who's going to be able to provide the better service through the mastery of today's technology somebody who has a customized social media marketing plan and a video marketing system like you've never seen See where I'm going? Like, I get excited when somebody says there's competition I have to face. I start going, pam, 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 because I just keep knocking them down with all the things that we do differently, and that's how they're going to choose you every time. Okay? Um, Pamela Bell, political science background. Ooh, I like that. So, P Pam, would you say that in real estate, real estate can be quite political? Right. If I have a multiple offer situation, you know how to be able to negotiate with, with, let's <laughs> say with hostages, uh, but with with other parties in a way that's amicable and both can come to a wonderful resolution. Right. That's politics in a nutshell. Uh, that's how I would I would bring that up with a client and say, you know, many times, uh, real estate is about relationships. It's about relationships, which means, you know, the other party, the other agent on the other side of the transaction, I can tell you my offer has been selected more than once because of the rela relationships that I have with, with agents. You might even call me a politician, right, where I build rapport, I'm nice with people, I take care of agents, it's a win-win for everybody if I'm able to sell their listing and the buyer gets the home of their dreams. Would you agree? Yes. Okay, well, that's why, you know, having this political science background really takes me above and beyond. And you're, you know, politicians, you should be able to spin that a little bit. Okay. All right. Um, that's what I got for you guys for today. I, I like to keep it around 30 minutes. But if you have any additional questions, again, this is Ask the Experts Anything, 18 Friday. Um, we, we do. I'm headed to Montana here virtually. So I'll see Billy in a little bit. Um, we're going to be doing a lip sync competition. Uh, we've got a nice GRI conference over there. I'll give you uh, a quick behind the scenes look. If you guys haven't seen the studio uh, lately, you can see I, I'm, I'm totally professionally dressed here. Um, you can see my shorts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is like the mullet of uh, virtual broadcasting, right? I got 
I got business up top and party on the bottom. <laughs> uh, you guys are awesome. Well, let's see. Do we see any other questions over here? Any other questions over here? All right. Uh, I am a good mediator. J-Man, you're a goat. Bah, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Pamela Bell, we're going to put that back up on there. We're going to hit you with the A-Team theme. Let's see what we got here. Bum, bum. Get it. Tune in next week, next Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Holler at your boy. 